Hi everyone and welcome back. Just going to have a chat with you guys as I walk down the airstrip here at Gorge River. Just about sunset, look at that, so stunning here today. Now I've been home for about the last month and most of my time has been spent on my computer trying to write my book using solar power and we've had quite a lot of cloudy days so electricity has been a little bit hard to come by. But anyway, the good news is that I have pretty much got there and I've done the complete second edit of my book, A Boy from Gorge River. That is a confirmed uh, title for the book and it will be coming out next April. So super, super exciting. Uh, but it has been a lot of hard work and a lot of days sitting inside when it's beautiful outside, making the most of the sunshine using my computer and just going through words and words and words, over about 100,000 words at the moment uh, and we'll, we'll see where it ends up and hope they're probably going to cut it down a little bit uh, for the final product. Very exciting, a lot of hard work and we're almost there which is really good. Uh, you can let me know in the comments below this video if you're interested in reading my book. And I will be taking some pre-orders for that eventually in the next few months. Anyway, I've been home <laughs> and while I haven't been writing the book, I have been out doing some pretty cool, exciting things. So these are some of the highlights of what I've been up to for the last month. Last night and this morning it's been raining so you can see behind the, the river is in a little bit of flood. We had about uh, 50 millimetres of rain which for us is not really very much because sometimes if we get a big storm we might get up to 300 millimetres of rain here. So this is the river after, after two, uh, 50 millimetres this morning and last night. And what am I up to next? Well, I'm kind of hanging out in New Zealand and just waiting to see what happens with COVID. I am meant to go to Antarctica next October, uh, November, December, January, very much. But I don't know if that's going to happen or not. So between now and when I find out, I'm going to be hanging out in New Zealand. I've bought a van that I can sleep in. I have a chill pass, so I'm going to be skiing all of the club ski fields up in Canterbury and just generally having a lot of fun. So I love traveling and I feel that now is really the time to travel in my own country for a little while and that's what I'm going to do. I'll be coming backwards and forwards from Gorge River as well. I'm going to come back and help dad do a few jobs. While I was here this time I also filled up the whole um, woodshed with wood which was really good. But we need to fix a little hole in the uh, leak in the roof. So maybe I'll do that with Dad next time I come back. Uh, and it's winter, so the toughest thing is that I've come from winter in Norway to straight into winter in New Zealand. And it hasn't actually been too bad so far. It's been quite warm. Uh, so from now, hopefully it goes really cold and get a ski season, then it warms up and we have summer again. Something like that. The worst is if you get like a wet, gray, miserable winter that's pretty cold and you're not really able to do a whole lot of things and to enjoy the winter at the same time so it's a bit harder so fingers crossed we don't get that um, and when I head to the ski fields that we will have some snow and we can do some epic skiing I hope to continue on kind of what I was doing in Norway I was doing a lot of ski touring and skiing some really really cool mountains um, good solid terrain avalanche terrain um, assessing risks and all that sort of thing but also building up a lot of skills and building up the uphill fitness for ski touring so I'm really hoping that I can do that in New Zealand this winter if the conditions are good enough for that and continue on what I was doing over there don't have 200 husky dogs but hey maybe we can find a dog somewhere in New Zealand to hang out with a nice cute husky we'll see I don't know if there's room in the van for um 
for that. Maybe there's room for one, definitely not room for ten. We'll, we'll just have to work out what happens. I've also been doing a little bit of greenstone carving while I've been here at home and I've polished up some of Dad's off cuts and made them into nice little, little necklaces. And if you do want to purchase one of those, you can head on over to my handcraft store on my website and you can purchase a greenstone pendant made at Gorge River by myself. And you can also see my possum hats if you're heading towards winter yourself. So anyway, that's all for today and I hope you enjoy this kind of little uh, life update, if you call it that, from here on the beautiful, beautiful afternoon. Ah, so amazing. Let's do a 360. Absolutely beautiful here. And so, I hope you enjoyed watching and good night, good day and good morning wherever you are in the world.